Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today I am so excited because I get to talk about one of my favorite companies, which is Rough and Tumble. They are an amazing company that make gorgeous, handmade leather canvas and they just recently added some linen options to their website, so that's super fun. What is so amazing about this company is number one, every bag is made one at a time, handcrafted right here in the US of A, which I love. Number two, if you are a bag enthusiast like myself and you have always thought, oh my gosh, I love bags, but I just wish I had this or that, you can design your very own bag. That's right, you heard me correctly. You can pick out every detail of your bag from the hardware to the way that the zipper opens or no zipper if you prefer a magnet. They have an amazing swatch page where you can order swatches, kind of get an idea of how your bag will look when it's put together and then you can either call in to a design specialist and walk through the entire design process, get their input because they are very hands on in the company and work with the leathers and the fabrics. So they definitely are there to help and happy to do so. Or they do have an online customizer for certain styles of bags so you can go on and design the bag of your dreams. So I just think that is super cool. I now have made a few customs. It can kind of be a slippery slope. The custom process can be pricey. It can range anywhere from three to $600 depending on what bag and what style you get. However, I will say it is 100% worth it because you are picking out every detail of your bag and the quality is just out of this world. It's phenomenal. I'm gonna kind of talk about the custom that I did. I did a large multi-pocket 1904. So that is a three-way carry bag, which I will get a little bit more into, but I kind of wanted to show you what the swatches look like when you get them. So I did a Forenza bag with a caramel cinch panel on my bag, which I will show you in greater detail. I did the Cairo flap lining, which is super fun. And then I did saddle strapping. So all of these things together helped to create my bag. And I just love how you can actually like hold the leathers and feel thickness and see if it's going to work for you, kind of compare it against your wardrobe, whatnot. And you really just get a beautiful personalized bag at the end of it all. It can be a long wait, and it sometimes can be very difficult to wait. Um, their average turnaround time for a custom bag is anywhere between eight to 12 weeks, just varies depending. And while I know that that might seem crazy to wait that long for a bag, when you are getting something that you picked out every detail on, trust me when it comes, it is the best, the best gift ever. So now I've kind of walked you through the customization process and the different options in doing so. I wanted to show you my gorgeous bag that I created. This is one of my favorite styles. This is the Multi Pocket 1904 from Rough and Tumble. It is a three-way carry, so it can be carried over your shoulder, it can be carried crossbody, and then if you pull these straps, it can be a backpack. To me, that is the most amazing feature of rough and tumble bags. It's actually what drew me to rough and tumble was the fact that it has a three-way carry option and as a mom, when I'm on the go, I love to be able to have the hands-free option, but at the same time, be able to just carry a gorgeous shoulder bag that no one would know is a diaper bag but that's what I use it for because it's awesome. So now I'm gonna walk you around the details of this bag in particular. It has this flap in the front with a closure, and then in the back, when you flip it around, it has this nice zippered security pocket. So if you are at the park or out and about or just want some extra security, you can slip your items in there and they will be zipped up and secure. This bag also comes with two D-rings that you can either attach a short strap or I like to hang it on the stroller with stroller hooks. So to open the bag, you just flip the little clasp and open it up. And then as you can see, here is my row flap that I showed you earlier, that swatch of fabric, that's where that goes. It goes on your flap lining and I just think that is so pretty with this Forenza leather. I think it really ties the colors in perfectly. This is the caramel swatch that I showed you. That is my cinch panel as you can see, for a more secured closure. So you would loosen it with the loops, you would just pull them and then kind of pull the leather open. 
and you get a really big, nice view of the inside of your bag. And if you want to tighten it, you would just pull the knotted strings. I'm going to point the camera down and just show you how I have this bag packed up. And then at the end, I'm going to show you a little on the body. It does have the one, two, three pockets up front. And in this front pocket, I just keep a package of baby wipes. This one's pretty empty because I use a lot of baby wipes. And in this side pocket, I'm just keeping some hand sanitizer, tissues, and Clorox wipes because germs, 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 and more germs. And then in this side pocket, I've been keeping baby powder, which is great. If you didn't know, a little hack to getting sand off of feet at a park. It dries the sand up and it comes right off. And then I am also keeping this Hello Bello little sunscreen stick. So as you can see, it has a ton of extra room. I do not even have this packed to the max. I could definitely throw another water bottle in here. I could throw some sandwiches in here. I could throw tons of stuff in here. This bag really is a workhorse and can hold a ton. So as you can see, there are one, two, three, four slip pockets in the back. And then the inside is just a big open bucket. So I'll start in the inside. In here, I just have a medium sized packing case from Lily Jade. And in this, I just have a size six diaper, a change of underwear for my older son, and then some wipes and miscellaneous diapering products. Next I have the Alex phone case. This is like a, this is a super cute little clutch. It comes in a bunch of colors. It is fully lined and look at that super fun lining inside. In here I just have some lip products, some eye products, a mirror, some cards. I have the iPhone 11. It is able to fit in here no problem. It zips close. It's great to just grab out of my bag if I do not need everything or if I'm not with my boys and then I just have all my essentials in here. Next in here, I just have my 19 ounce Owala water bottle. And the cool thing about this bag is if you wanted to, you totally could slip this water bottle up front for easy access. I tend to just keep it in my bag because I like to keep other things in the outside pockets, but if you had smaller sippy cups or different things, you can totally slip those in these front pockets. And all the way at the bottom, like I said, this is a deep bag. I have clipped to the nice key leash a card case from Rough and Tumble. And in here, I'm just keeping my AirPods and then obviously my keys were attached. In this back pocket, I just stuck my sunglasses. In this back pocket, I actually fit no problem. Two play packs for my boys if we're out and about and they need something to keep themselves entertained. In this slip pocket, I have another card case from Rough and Tumble. This is in Distress Espresso. And in here I have it as kind of like a mini med kit. So I have Band-Aids and Neosporin, toothpicks. Last pocket inside, I have a clip case. This is so cute. This is in the color Saddle. And in here it is also kind of like a mini med kit, but more like medicines. So I have like Tylenol, a Tide pen, I have a comb. These are super nice because you can clip them on the outside of any bag that you have or inside if there are little D-rings, which I think is super cool. And it comes with this cute little strap. In here, I currently do not have anything, I don't believe. No, but I still wanted to show you how nice this pocket is. Super huge. I mean, if I wanted to, I could fit my medium packing case from Lily Jade in there, no problem. And it only comes to about half of the width of the bag. So there you have it. I hope that that helped kind of give you an idea of how the custom design process goes through Rough and Tumble. If you have ever dreamed about creating your own bag, please go do so. Like I said, their design team is phenomenal. They are more than happy to help you anytime. Um, this bag style is by far my favorite for diaper bag slash everyday carry bag. I just think it's very versatile and functional. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below or reach out to me on Instagram. I'd love to chat with you and help you answer any questions that I can for you and get you the right bag for you because everyone deserves, I mean, look at this gorgeous. Everyone deserves a bag like this. You deserve a bag like this. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time guys. Bye.